Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Hotful Boyfriend, where we are here to romance our sensei. That's right, Mr. Nanaki. I thought I would go back to when we first meet him just to reacquaint myself with what kind of bird we're getting involved with. What kind of bird man we're trying to get involved with here again. So let's start with that, shall we? I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Ah, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Er, uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He's so handsome, though. So he's a quail. Okay. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Right, he teaches math. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. <laughs> that segue, though, every time. Okay, so we've reintroduced ourselves to Kazuaki Nanaki. So I'll bring you in after all the intros are done then, guys. <laughs> all right, intros are all done. Let's get back into this. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Ooh! Okasan has time only for the track team! That's good. What about you, Shirogani? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho? Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Oh no, Ryota's got to deal with his dead mom by himself. Oh, that makes me sad. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Oh, the infirmary staff is a new one. Well, I won't do that. Um... For Mr. Nanaki, probably student council would be a good choice. Maybe it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll join the student council this time, though. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Thank you, sir. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Well, since he's a mathematician, we should attend math class and be so wise. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Huzzah. Kawaii leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Ta-da! I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakia and me. Anyway, he called a meeting, so to the council room I go. This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything else? Or I think he might have said less. Anything less. <laughs> Hi, Sakia. So you had this done. <laughs> this room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than to us. What a prig. <laughs> Just for that? Only now do we realize this? Have you decided which position you will take? I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Wow. Wow. Aren't you Japanese too, Sakoya? Do not mock me. I am French. Ah, yes. I forgot that Sakoya is a very common French name. A French noble bird? That sounds delicious. 
Uh, no, girl. We did not talk about our potential bows as being delicious. <laughs> I don't care if they're birds. I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the... Oh, wow. Uh... I won't go for vice president, because he'll probably like that. Uh... Eh, go for, like, the lowest position possible. Clerk? Yeah. <laughs> You came here to take a job like that. Unacceptable. Where's your ambition? Are you testing yourself? You've got more backbone than that. Um, then... Vice President? Very well. And so I was inflicted with Vice Presidency. There isn't anybody else on the council, is there? We just gotta make sure we don't get with Sakuya quite yet. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing and cold. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Don't we have our vitamin... vitamin... me or something? Today is the hike. We stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Kazuaki. Hmm? What is it, Chan? Break isn't over yet. Um, I wanted to talk to you, sir. This is kind of strange. We're, like, seeking out our teacher. <laughs> Not just a bird. Our bird teacher. Your friends are all here. Why not talk with them? Do you not want to talk to me? No, that's not what I meant. You're a... Funny girl. John. Wait! No! I haven't said anything yet! And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. So it's like kindergarten all over again. I wonder if he has some sort of illness. I hope he's okay. Why is he so tired all the time, sir? Did we find out? Hopefully he's not dying of something. What should I do today? Of course we have to do math again. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, Chan. Y yes, sir. Okay. I leveled up again, even though I don't understand anything, apparently. Uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but... Probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Oh, Oko-san will handle the marathon! Indeed, he will! You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Oko-san's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Which bird? Today is the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Hmm. Well, Mr. Nanaki's not here, I don't think, so... Maybe I should just go with the bird I know from before and save some of these for later. Yeah. We'll do that. Oh, are you joining us? 
want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set. Go! <sighs> Ryota's running for both of us. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. That's good. As we should. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. John! Yes! You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. Really? With 11 wisdom, sir? I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! That's what we want to hear. Good, good. Mmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Oh, where should we go? I don't want to go to the cafeteria and side with Ryota, because I might get on the Ryota train by accident. Maybe I should stay on, like, the school grounds and... <laughs> See if I... Maybe I'll run into Kazuaki. Maybe. I know he's definitely not at the cafeteria. I'll try staying at the school. <laughs> and hopefully avoid the doctor! <sighs> nope, I ran right into him. Ah. You again. Are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... Hear your voice! <laughs> I don't think so. Hear your theme, probably. Uh, skip class! He'll, he'll be thrilled by this answer. I wanted to skip class. Get out. Kicked out at the speed of light! Team Rocket's blasting off again! I should probably take my school life more seriously. Not when shoes involved, girl. Okay, so that was a bust. Well, at least I know that's a thing. Let's keep doing our math. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this math class or nap time? Guys. Guys. Seriously. What you doing? Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. I wonder what Kazuaki wrote. Wow, there are lots here already. Any birdie I know? Ah, uh, Ryota. <laughs> May mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better. Ryota. <laughs> oh my. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time. Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day. Remember her. <laughs> Maybe you should have kept this note on you, Mr. Nanaki. <laughs> He has really bad memory, too, eh? What should I wish for? I have no idea if these affect anything. <laughs> I'll pick the second one. Rule the world from the shadows. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Chan? Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. All right. What a gentle bird. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very... rustic, Chan. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Do you, are you homeless, Mr. Nanaki? Nestless? Um, sir. 
See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell, echo farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? I've also just realized it's July, and we haven't had break yet. So that ID card we found from the student missing in June is legit now, now that I'm actually paying attention. How did our wisdom get so high again? What did I do? Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Hmm, hard to say. It might never help you at all, Chan. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Integral calculus is educational candy? I am not prepared to accept this. But I still increased my wisdom by five, so... Hey. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. John. Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success! Yatta. Today is the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakuya. Let's start cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard. Arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window- Hold on. Are you telling me to do all that by myself? Who else is there? Oh! That was terrifying. I thought I was a human. Why am I growling? Have I devolved? You, bonehead! Maybe I should stand up to him? Nah. Not yet, girl. Next time. Well, alright. You can sit there and tell me what to do. Excellent. And so the council room was polished until it shone with the light of a thousand suns. Just as planned. Ah, I went along with him. For now, he'll get his comeuppance. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. And meet Miss Sami. Let me take a look at that destroyed city again, too. I know you're out there. Look at that. Hmm. Just the one part of the city. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always look, lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Hmm. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't feel me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Huh? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pidgeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ugh. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit. I think. Th thank you. Um, may I ask your name? 
Koshiba Azami. I saw Takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then, thank you, Azami. I assume these birds must have grown to close to human size if we're both able to ride on the scooter. You're a very cautious driver. Carving into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul! The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Almost on. She didn't get us home before dawn. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance? I'll... I'll have to work on my homework this time. Yeah, we'll be good. Forget it. Come on. Really wanted me to take the job, I guess. Hmm, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. <laughs> Slacking off and having fun is more the high schooler thing to do. Whee! Oh, kawaii. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. I wanna go with some birdie. Some birdie who loves me. Right, where are you, Kazuaki? There you are. I almost clicked Nageki. Good evening, John. Such nice weather. Uh, anyway, you needed something? Um, sir, today's the summer festival. Wanna go together? The two of us? I wouldn't mind, but wouldn't it be more fun with someone your own age? I think it will be plenty of fun with you, sir. Let's go. Hmm. He agreed to come. This is the first time I've been to a festival here. It's very lively. I feel a little dizzy. Uh, are you okay, sir? I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm just not very used to crowds. Oh. Ooh. Actually watching the fireworks. I guess Kazuaki is speechless. Ah, oh, fireworks! How nice. Have you studied redox color reactions, Chen? Oh yes, in middle school. Copper turns green and sodium turns red and that sort of thing. No, no. Sodium turns yellow, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, that's how fireworks work. Mmm, so beautiful. Though... Your eyes are even more beautiful, sir. Well, thank goodness he fell asleep through that awful come online. <laughs> he fell asleep? He held up pretty well, but I guess he gets even sleepier than usual as soon as the sun gets oh, goes down. And besides, I think the girl is supposed to get told she's prettier than the knight, not the man. Oopsie! Girl, what did you drink at that festival? Ah! Uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late! Oh, hello, Chan. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework! I forgot to bring my homework! Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Chan? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Mr. Nanaki, I wish you wouldn't do this. Oh... You're just a little bit early. Ah. Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Chan? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. 
Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... I want to... Help Mr. Nanaki. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. Thank you. And so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. <laughs> this tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Aw. Thanks. Lovely. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Cool. Oko-san is always having fun. Yup, yup. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir! Focus! Stay with me, sir. Second term. Huh? Is that... A student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2. Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir! Sir! Oh! Hello, Kawaii. Did you forget to turn in your homework? He's calling me by my first name now, I notice. Hmm. I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh? Thank you, Kawaii. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing. Just... You did find this today, right, Sean? Yes, in the corridor just outside. The student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, John. You're welcome, sir. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Math class. Our vitality went up, too. Hmm. I had hoped for something a little more interesting from an elective, but this is dull. I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakia. Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? <laughs> he looks happy, though. <laughs> you little sundary. Whoa! Good morn- What the heck is going on? The classroom is filled with a cloud of dancing feathers. Did somebody eviscerate a down pillow or something? Ryota, what? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday? It's molting season, so... Well, one little breeze and it looks like this unless we make sure to keep everything clean. Now that I look closely, Ryota's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. I guess everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Uh. Good morning, everyone. Sir, can we clean up a little before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Oko-san! Wretched mongrel. Can't you even fulfill the duty given to you? Come on, arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easy if we all pitch in. And so we swab the room down before homeroom. Ah. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we can make a nice pillow. It certainly is more than usual. Did they come in the window, perhaps? Huh? Sir, um... Did you spill some chlorine on yourself? Chlorine? We don't use that kind of detergent. But, um, you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach. The bleach? S 
Sir, are you one of those degenerates who bathes with bleach powder? No, no, I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night, that's all. That's dangerous! Sir, please be careful. Mmm, yes. I'll... I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. 